David Farrow. And I'm Kenny Todd. And I'm Bill Sharp, and you're watching the Charleston Times. And then Thanks for coming. Oh, it's good to be here with you, David. We do appreciate you showing up today, Bill. My pleasure. Well, all of us grew up here, didn't we? We did. We did. And we're all kind of the same age. We're getting kind of old. What's your favorite memory of growing up in Charleston? Oh, gosh, David. I had so many good memories of growing up in Charleston. I grew up West Ashley, just down the road from where we are now. Um, you know, Roy Hartz used to have an old uh, hamburger hot dog stand. It was a portable stand. Roll in, and it was it was on some dirt leading up to it. And you drive your car up to it, and you'd get a, just a great hamburger or a great hot dog. Tommy Boodles. I went to school with uh, with Ina Boodle. Is that right? Yes, uh, in St. Andrews many many years ago. Uh, gosh, there were so many good memories growing up here. I had an idyllic childhood west of the Ashley. I think we all did, didn't we? I think I so. I think growing up in the fifties in Charleston as you said, was so idyllic because whether you, no matter what part of town you lived in, everybody felt safe, everybody knew each other, and it was right. just a, a really And there nice wasn't, and except growing. for James Island, there weren't any gangs. No, I'm kidding! <laughs> kidding! <It's> all right. <laughs> James Island back then and John's Island were not no very there. Up that right, that was way My up girlfriend up. and I Goodness. went on the, um, what is it, the Spirit? Which one's the one that goes around the harbor anyway? Spirit of Charleston. Mm -hmm. um, and I showed her James Owen. I said, you have to understand, when I was a kid and I looked across from the battery or we went out, that was all farmland. I mean, by 1970 it was farmland. Right. And I find it so hard. Uh, you have children. I don't. Um, I find it so hard to try to explain because I always want to. I want to say, no, this isn't it. <laughs> this isn't it. And of course it is today, though, isn't it? It is. I mean, you know, things have changed so much since you and I, all of us, grew up. Mm -hmm. uh, but then there's some things that really are almost the same, like Avondale. Yeah. I grew up in Avondale. Just That would be where we'd go to the Five and Dime store, the bank, uh, to the theater. Channel and now, 5. Channel 5 was downtown. Back yes, then. it was. And that was a big treat, to yeah. ride downtown see the battery, and also go by Channel 5. You know, an interesting story for you guys. I grew up, as did you, watching Carol Godwin, yes. Charlie Hall, yes. Ken Kleiss, and then Kleiss, huh? George Norwick, the crazy Norwick. Swede, who yeah, did right. the sports. By the way, he had a foot size, they say, of about 14. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and uh, so I grew up big watching... Big feet. Big feet. <laughs> grew up watching those guys, never thinking, of course, that I'd be working with. And I got to work with all of them except George. George had gone by the time I got there. And also, don't forget Happy Rain, Rainy Evans. Ah, Absolutely. Yeah. I was on her show, never thinking that I'd be working with her. What a delightful lady. Isn't she, is. she sweet? She is a sweet um, lady. A friend of mine had got thrown off Happy Rain. Why was that? Um, a gesture. Uh -huh. We all know now, but he didn't know what it meant. His Uncle Tommy had taught him what it meant. Or taught him how to do it, and he was right there on Happy Rain with that middle finger right there. Oh my! I'm Just to say who it was. Yeah. So got thrown off Happy Rain, huh? Mm -hmm. right. Now he's all responsible and everything, and I was shocked. And look at me! Oh my gosh, what a turnaround! What a turnaround! Um, <laughs> what's your favorite thing here now? What's your favorite thing to do? You know, I guess uh, I still work pretty hard. Still have me working pretty hard. You do, I see. Uh, I just enjoy playing with the kids and taking them to places. How old are they now? I've got three. I've got uh, twins who are 10, and my little boy, who's one of the twins, is a special needs fellow. Uh -huh. And he's wonderful. He'll, he'll, he'll never stop talking. I wonder where he gets that from. Ah. Hmm. He'll come up to you and he'll say, David, let me tell you about who I am. And then he'll say, you're fired. Oh. Fired. Yeah. Anyway, he's he's a cutie, and uh, so I've got two kids who are ten, a little girl and and William, my special needs fellow, 
And my youngest is seven, almost eight, going on 15. Gotcha. And then also living with us uh, is my sweetie pie's 13-year-old. So I have a busy household. household. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. I do. And I'm so glad I never had kids. <laughs> well, well, no, I think if you have them, it's a blessing. If you don't, it's also a blessing. In my case, it was probably best I didn't. You think so? Yeah, they would have hated me. Well, those are the kids I claim. Now, I've got some yard children running around. Do you? Do you? Well, well, no, but, but tell you I the truth. don't claim them, no, I'm teaching. Well, that, well actually, no, after Miskins, Bill, I wouldn't be surprised if I do <laughs> oh, um, No, we'll cut that, right? Um, actually, probably won't. Um, I will, where do you, do you like to take them? I mean, we talked about Sammy Boodles and the fork. I remember the fork. Unfortunately, Boodles isn't here anymore. The fork uh, isn't here anymore. Bill's uh, Holly House isn't here. Oh, oh, man, the Bill's best Holly club House. sandwiches in the North America. Hot fudge Sunday. Oh, man. Do you remember the little jukeboxes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember going in one day. I wasn't a big country music fan going in. I was rock and roll. You guys probably yeah. were too. But somebody had put, what was it, a dime back then or a nickel right, or nickel whatever. Dime. It's a dime. Nickel, yeah. And was playing a country music song, and that just stayed with me until then. Do you remember what it was? I don't. I don't. Country wasn't this, you know, this was You're back in the 60s. You're a tell on you. May have been that. Country wasn't big. That was before the explosion right. of country music. Mm -hmm. But I grew up, probably like you guys did, listening to the mighty TMA. Absolutely. And top fifth, top forty songs. Sporty were what top I, forty. Sporty top forty were what I listened to. Da, 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 da. You know, we had a wonderful uh, milieu here in Charleston to grow up in. And for a special treat, for a special treat, every Wednesday night, Mom would pack the kids, my brother and me, we had there were just two of us, in the old car. We had an old Plymouth, and we'd ride downtown to Robertson's Cafeteria. Ah. On Wednesday. Absolutely. Absolutely. Remember that vacant lot right, right behind there? Yeah. And of course it's not there. That was Carrison's parking lot. Right, right. right. So we'd park in Carrison's parking lot and go to S and S. I mean go to Robertson's. Robertson's. And that was the big treat every yeah. Wednesday. That was something for us. And now sadly our uh, S and S. I haven't really seen the news yet, but I saw S and S had burned. Yeah. Well it caught fire in just one room. They'll be fine. Oh thank God. Okay. Yeah, they'll okay. be able to open soon. Good. Very soon. Good. Get things back to normal. I love that restaurant too, by the way. Very nice restaurant. I had a campaign event there. Did you really? Yes, we had a thing about pie. Since I don't drink, um, we took everything over there and had a big pie. Good. Yeah. Speaking of pie. Twenty five dollars a slice. Twenty five bucks a slice. Mm -hmm. Over here at Mellow Mushroom, mm -hmm. they had good pizza too. Right. But when I was growing up, that was a theater. Oh, the theater. Right, absolutely. You remember, I think it was the Ashley Theater, I was wasn't it? The Ashley theater, right. I saw Frankenstein there <laughs> when I was 9 or 10, which would have been 59, 60. Scared the living you know what out of me. Didn't sleep for three weeks. You know what scared me? Darby O'Gill and the Little Bee. Oh, I remember that. And you know who was in that? Sean O'Connor. <laughs> Sean O'Connor. Sean Connery. And, uh, yeah, he was. But what was yeah. wild about it, my 17-year-old cousin took me when I was five. And, of course, the banshee, the Ooh, Ooh, that just scared, <laughs> scared the living. Scared me Yeah, scared me to death. And here's the thing. Um, about two weeks later, remember, Disney would, would show parts of their show to get people to go to the movies. I just got the light on. And then I saw that damn banshee again. <laughs> I don't think I slept with the light off for another six uh, weeks. You know where I saw that movie downtown in what we used to call the Glory of the Absolutely. Air. That's, That's where, where I saw uh, Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Yeah, I think it's I think it's kind of sad in some ways that we have given up. And this isn't talking about old days and how it was much better then, but I enjoyed the theaters downtown. Um, I did too. I, think I it, did too. And, of course, now we've got so many choices. I mean, hell, I'll go to Netflix on my computer. I don't need to go anywhere. I'll get Absolutely. a first-run movie right there or on demand or something like that. So I guess the movie theater itself. But I love the whole experience. You go into Gloria or the Riviera or the American or any of them. And the arcade, and you, you 
Smell that damn popcorn. And I did not know, did you know they did that on purpose? <laughs> that that was actually a smell that they put out there. So you buy the popcorn. No, I didn't know that. Did you know that? Did not know It's that. all psychological. Do you remember seeing, I think it was the Gloria, which had the uh, the planetarium, the fake planetarium? Ah, stars. We stars. Up right, right. Was that right. the Gloria? It was the Gloria because they redid it. And you'd go in there and you'd see the stars yeah. above you and then watch the movie. Mm -hmm. People don't go to the, they do some go to the movies like we used to, but back then we didn't have the choices that they have now. We didn't have computers and Netflix and... And, uh, and it was 25 cents. Yeah, it was not. But you okay. know what we did have back then? We had Elvis. Yes, we did. And about every two months, Elvis would come out with a new movie. And all the guys wanted to be Elvis. I'm uh, sure. It just, I wanted to be the that was a good. That was a good time. I wanted to be John Lennon. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... But, but, John uh, is that surprising? Be <laughs> so he did. Yeah, he really did. Um, My first record that I ever bought as a kid was a 45 mm -hmm. that Elvis cut, and I'm trying to think of the name of it. King Creole. King Creole. Yeah, it must yeah. have been 58, 59, from somewhere the movie. around in there from the movie. Mm -hmm. And I that was I loved Elvis. The well, they always they always put it out like that. The the song, uh, the 45. Speaking of which, it. it Jog my memory to think back. Remember, uh, Fox Music House used to have any five forty-five. That's right. For five forty-five. Oh yeah, that was that was. <laughs> gosh, those were the days. Yeah. Fox Music House downtown. Well, Bill, thanks a lot. Um, I think you should give us some words of wisdom now. Don't you? But I think uh, you probably uh, uh, much wiser. Both of you. Hardly, hardly. Somebody with a Stenarian voice such as yours has to be. Well, it's hormone shots, David. That's is that just, what it is? You know, I have to take those twice yeah. a day. No, um, He's the voice of comfort. So that's a headline, Thank right? You. That's voice a headline? Of, what's that? <laughs> Sharp hormone shots. <laughs> uh, seriously, I, I, you know, I, you just have to enjoy your life. Don't take, don't take things too seriously because... You know, we're only, we only have one go around here in life, and enjoy every age. I remember enjoying growing up in Charleston when I was 9 and 10, when I was a teenager. Uh, I remember uh, starting to notice girls and enjoyed the heck out of that. Uh, and uh, I just have enjoyed every decade of every my stage. life. Every stage and every decade. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my advice, if I give any, and I, I'm loath to give advice to anybody, Enjoy your life now while you've got it. I had a guy today on the air, Chad Watson, our wonderful weatherman, said, Don't you, they said this on the air, don't you wish you were a little bit younger? Just a little bit younger. And I said, No, I wish I were older so I could retire and I wouldn't have to put up with you, Chad. Of course, that was a joke. <laughs> yes. But I really don't want to go back. I've done all of No, I tell you, I mean, I've, I, if, I wondered about that one time. I said uh, to a friend of mine, I said, is there any particular area that you would go back and relive if you had to relive everything else right. from there? Right. No. You know, I... No, I, I mean, because I, with me, good times are always ahead. Yeah. That's a way to look at it. And, and uh, you know, you got to, you never know what's around the corner. No, you really don't. I so, mean, what the hell, you'll have Bill Sharp on the Kenny Show? I mean... I mean, who would have thought that? Who yeah. would have? I mean, Kenny, who would have thought that, right? But you just have to enjoy living in the now. I don't plan too much ahead. I mean, I've got to watch out for my kids, so I try to plan ahead for them. And you've got to be over at Charlie Hall Boulevard. i got to be there every day, Monday through Friday. Aside from that, I just enjoy life. Now, I, I work pretty hard. I get up early, get up at 5 so I can read the paper before I get the kids up at 6 to feed them and take them to school. So my day's long. Get up at 5. If I make it to 9.30, that's a good day. And I'm starting yeah, yeah, yeah. to be by then. No, I'm right there with Are you? you? Well, especially the last two. I think that's age-related. You think so? Now, when I was a kid, I say when I was a kid, when I first got <coughs> the job, by the way, guys, tomorrow, which would be uh, Thursday, uh, I'm celebrating 40 years. At the same station. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you guys for having me on. This is my 40th anniversary. What I was going to tell you is, when I first got the job, I was 22, almost 23. 
And I loved back then, I'd get off the news at 11, I just did the 11 o'clock mm -hmm. back then. We had Carol Godwin, you That's all right. remember Carol mm -hmm. doing the early. I'd get off and I'd go out and hit the bars and have a blast looking for um, companionship, female companionship. I did and, the same thing, except the bars closed by the time I got off. Well, and, and I would then I'd stay up all night and get to sleep, wake up just in time to shave and shower and do it all over again. Now, my hours have shifted, and I can't stay up past 10 o'clock much. Welcome to age. Can you, how about you? I, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I, I seldom make it to 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Uh, on Sundays is my uh, night that uh, I catch up on all the uh, mini-series that are going on, Sons of Anarchy, Duck Dynasty, uh, 10, 11 o'clock. 11 at the most, and uh, I'm, I'm out. But I, I'm like you, I get up early. Problem is football lasts until... Well, that's it, David. Now, I love Sunday football. <laughs> I love Sunday... <laughs> well, I'm a hail to the Redskins sort of guy, so good mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. right, right. I'm David Farrow. And I'm Kenny Todd. And I'm Bill Sharp, and thank you for watching the Charleston Times.